Hello everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a long while since I put up a video, so I'm going to pick on poor old Arkansas today. And next week we'll mess with Texas. And everyone says not to mess with Texas, but you know what, I'm going to do it anyway. So here I come, Texas. You're, you're up for maybe later this week or next week. But here's a fun fact. Most of Arkansas... Throughout the 19th and 20th century, most of the Irish immigration went to Arkansas. So, if you wonder, if you ever come to Arkansas and wa wonder why some of the ugliest people are in Arkansas, you'll know why. Sorry, Ireland, but your people are but ugly, and you should have kept them over there. Speaking of Irish, I think this gives me a, gives me suspect to why. There are dry counties in Arkansas because they don't want us Irish, the Irish people to gain too much fights. And especially in hot springs where there's most of the population there, they've blocked it out of there. Basically, most of the heavily densely populated areas are going to have dry areas. But we know why. It's because you freaking Irish can't stop it with your with your violent tendencies when you, you get in those bar fights, and it's all y'all's fault. I don't like alcohol anyway. <laughs> all right, we all know this creepy guy. You know he was born in Arkansas, so Bill Clinton. And for some reason, I've heard women say that they find Bill women attractive. But on my part, I think that's poor judgment on most women's part because he's a creepy pedophile. But either way, we'll move on because I don't like to look at his face. Also, we are we have known for a good ghost town. And there was basically a uh, it was in Yaleville, Arkansas, and it was a zinc industry at one point according to this, and now it's just a run-down ghost town, and they say that a lot of people like to visit it, I guess, if you see a bunch of old miners hanging around, you'll know. <laughs> I've spe speaking of, as I mentioned, hot springs earlier, I've actually been to this wax museum, and oh my goodness, they have some, some of the creepiest displays in the world. I forgot the name of the hot springs uh, wax museum. So if you want to give it a visit, get a few chills down your spine, you're going to have to visit the Josephine Two Sods Wax Museum. So, like I said, some of the creepiest displays you'll ever find. Let's just say that I know I could have nightmares from this crap. And also, one of the things that Arkansas is also known for is the KKK. And there's a few places the KKK is known to run around Zinc, Arkansas. But I've had, heard rumors that Harrison, Arkansas actually had a few riots break out in it. And there was also some mass me media outbreak for the Levens, and that was probably all over the news when it happened. So I'm not going to go over it. The Garden Lights. This is one of Arkansas's one unsolved mysteries, one of many. And the base of the backstory of it was it was supposed to leave it one of these. Uh, he was a railroad worker. He was working the traffic signals. And he was inspecting the track that day. And supposedly, someone murdered him, chopping off his head. Someone begrudged against him. That was the first theory. The second theory was that he tripped and a train, a train came through and chopped his head off. But they say that this light, this spectral light that floats around Garden, is his lantern looking for his lost head. Okay, now, uh, as a hillbilly theme park, of course, there's going to be one in Arkansas. Dog Patch, USA, and Marble Falls Township 
Arkansas. It was so hated that it wouldn't even sell on eBay after it closed. I'm sorry, a poor abused dog patch USA. Nobody likes hillbillies. <laughs> So abused and neglected. Speaking of which, have you ever heard of Sasquatch? Well, everyone suspects that Sasquatch stomps around Arkansas. But they need to quit looking because they're never going to find them because I've, I've shaved my hair off years ago. And they ain't going to get my picture. Plus, I've had plenty of videos of myself on the internet. Why do they keep looking for me? Okay, Johnny Cash, he did have a boyhood home in Arkansas, in the Dysus Colony, that is now abandoned, that is now snake infested, or was, but it's, whatever, it was originally snake infested. Either way, well, we picked on Arkansas today. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the week. I'll see you next time I make a video. I'm thinking possibly Thursday. And I'll see you then. All right.